What's up guys and girls? We're looking at savage used cars, man. These are mechanic specials. What you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do? You gonna get me with some slim shady lyrics? <laughs> oh, boy, you think you're real funny, don't you? Boy, oh, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you today. What's up, everybody? Back with you again on another Savage Used Car. Make sure you hashtag that one. But, anyways, here is a Mazda. CX-7. Some of y'all might remember the Mazda CX-7 from many years ago. A lot of people like buying Mazda CX-7s. They also like this Mazda CX-9. The CX-9 was a full-size SUV or mid-size, I guess, and the CX-7 was like your crossover looking vehicle. Well, let me take a look and tell you what, first off, you can buy this Mazda CX-7 for. This is a mechanic special, so please do remember that. The Mazda CX-7, right there on the bottom of the list, $2,000 and it's a 2006. Stay with us, let's take a look at this car. All right, so here it is, just kind of hiding back here behind the dealership all by itself. And uh, you know, what a good looking vehicle. I came about that close right there to buying one of these back in the day for me and my wife, and uh, ended up buying a Toyota 4Runner instead. But uh, it's a definitely a good looking car, it really is. Now like I always say on these Savage used car videos for these mechanic specials, you gotta make sure the car is in somewhat decent shape on the outside and inside before you go paying a bunch of money for it and then fixing the engine and all that, okay? Because if you do spend the money to fix the motor on the car, you don't wanna have to spend a whole bunch of extra money fixing everything else on the car, right? Expe I mean, on these types of vehicles. Now it's different if you're buying some old school truck or some old school classic car or something like that. You know, we understand that you are putting money into it to fix it up and make it and turn it into something really special but these types of vehicles really are to fix so you can give it to your son or daughter or just drive the car this that and the other or maybe flip it and make a little extra money in your pocket but obviously we weren't able to do that here at our dealership we weren't able to fix this car and flip it and make a little money right or maybe we are able to do it but we just don't want to put the time and money into it well maybe you do right and it's two thousand bucks or best offer it's definitely gonna need a new front bumper cover there because that seems like it's been eaten up by the uh, the Walking Dead, okay? But you got black paint, looks pretty good. It's got a sunroof up top. You got alloy wheels. Tires are definitely going to need replacing on them sooner or later. They're about bald as damn Steve Harvey's head. And also here, the window in the front, not tinted, but the windows in the back are tinted, which is pretty much a standard thing with Mazdas, okay? It does got a flat tire in the back. I'll put air in it to help you roll it up onto a truck to get it on out of here. Somebody just took one out of here not too long ago. You got dual exhaust, you got a uh, tow package back there for bicycles or maybe a lawn, lawn mower. But the body on it is really not in too bad a shape. It just needs a front bumper cover, okay? All right, I do got the key, and man, that key right there looked almost like a damn iPad or tablet from back in the day, right? Kind of interesting. Look how thin that is. I mean, I wonder if that was the, was the uh, marketing point with Mazda. Mazda, a key that's thin. A key that you've never had before. A key that could look like a credit card and stick it in your wallet. I bet that's what they were doing. But anyways, it's still got a regular key right there too. Kind of takes away from the concept. But let's go ahead and unlock her. It's the first time I've ever been inside of this car. I've been inside a Mazda before, but not this one. Let's make sure there's no snakes or raccoons coming out of this thing. Wow, interior's gonna look pretty sweet in here. This is actually kind of blowing me away. Bose stereo, leather, power seat. I mean, look at the seats. Man, this is why the Mazda CX-7 was really something special back in the day. I mean, it's just a good looking car on the inside. This is that Japanese engineering in its finest. Got a huge screen in here. Look at that. It's in good shape. It's clean. It's still got that new car smell in here, believe it or not. You got heated seats. I mean, look at all the storage in there. Man, whoa. Not bad. Glove box over here. Still got the books and manuals in there. My goodness. There's the back seats. Look at that. My camera does a great job of lighting up dark areas. Okay, so you got all that going on in this car. And pretty decent amount of storage space. Sunroom. There you go. Let's just really go over and above and see if this key will actually crank the car up. Or even let you see some of the stuff in here. Well, oh, let's see. It's dead as can be. So there's none of that going on. But you may ask yourself, well, Chad... 
Why is this a part of the old mechanic special deal? It needs a motor up front, okay? That's just plain and simple. It needs a motor. Don't know really what's wrong with the motor. I don't know if it's transmission or what, but it's something going on with it, and it's expensive to fix. And, uh, you know, we don't have the parts for it or the time and man hours to be putting into this thing, okay? If you do, hit me up, and I'll sell it to you today. Again, $2,000 or best offer for a Mazda CX-7. Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this and all kinds of used car and new car videos. We'll see you then. Oh, <laughs>